M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Right, well, we've managed to get hold of this software. We found a uh, very good price on it on eBay. So, download only, but well, very happy with it. So, this is the software. It allows you to control, you know, most of the high-end ICOM radios, like the 705, 7300, 7610, um, and many, many other good radios. Um, so, what we're going to do... We've got this, where is it? This setup page from M0IAX. So I'm gonna quickly just take you through it. So once you get the download and run it, you will uh, have end up with two windows. One is RSBA1 remote and one is ICOM remote utility. So let's just read through. When you install the RSBA1 version two software, you will find two icons in your start menu, your desktop, one for RSBA1 and another ICOM remote utility. We do not need to run RSBA1 to set up the digital mode, so we can ignore that for now. That's fair enough. So we won't do the remote one straight away. Double click. So when we install it, this is what we're going to get. And we're going to, we will do this, but I just want to go through it. So probably do that one, I think. But anyway. Set up for a remote PC, a radio with a server function. Set up with a remote PC, connect through a server PC. Get that. I want to do this. I do want to do this wirelessly and wired. Set up for a local direct connect to the radio and PC. That's probably the how I use it the most with the cable. But I'm going to do it wirelessly as well. Set up for server PC. The radio is accessible by remote. Yeah, so all quite good. So you get the setup wizard. I'm just going to copy what he does and then enter into the radio here as you can see as it goes through so network name DHCP valid on restart so it must reboot when that goes in network name we have our own user ID network user ID like so icon utility enter a name for the radio you can enter multiple configurations and radios so if you if you need to set up on a separate networks or IP addresses enter the name that you can easily identify each one note that if you entered the network name for your icon 705 in the previous screen then the software should find the radio no matter what the IP address is. The radio will now be listed in the ICOM remote software server list. If the radio is already connected to the network, then the software will automatically connect to it and at this stage and create at an entry in the radio list tab. Number eight, select the radio list tab and click on the entry in the list of your radio to select it. Now click settings. Okay, look at everything here. We can now set the COM port number that will be used for CAT control. It doesn't matter what number you pick but make sure you can remember which one it is. You will need this to set up your digital mode software. There you go, there's all the settings. COM70 here. Pick your selection of COM port name from the list. I've picked COM70 and click OK. There you go. ICOM remote will show you your selected COM port number. Click OK. There you go. Now to connect to the radio, if not already connected, select the entry in the list. So we highlight the blue one. If all is okay, remote software will show that you are connected and tell you the CIV address, COM port and virtual audio devices. All right, we see that. The final step when setting up or digital modes is once connected to the IC705, 
click the mod button when in the mod select click and the radio button labeled V audio and click close you are now ready to set up your favorite digital mode software treat the icon remote software like it is your radio so for example if your software has a list of radios select the icon 705 as the rig and the com port you set in the icon remote as the port or cat control so that would be 70 wouldn't it select the virtual audio as your sound input output remember you do not need to run the rsba1 software to use icon remote with digital mode software you just run the icon remote if you run the RSB one it will prevent you from using the icon remote I will produce some guides for individual software later if anyone needs them hope this is of use this is more about setting up for digital connection so you're running the software and then it connects you wirelessly to um, your icon 705 so uh, yeah 73 for now in this section we are going to run the driver and the software that we've installed into our laptop now we do have a manual that's come with this download so let's just quickly double click it and have a look scroll down and have a look here transceivers it's interesting compatible transceivers I'm, I'm guessing they're adding all the time 7851 7850 760 here's some LAN port ones so also 7700 9700 we know the 705 works 7100 that's interesting um yeah that is interesting there you are there's an overview of what it does and firewall stuff yes yeah, so i have a good read of that and uh we'll give it a go isn't it right so let's double click driver windows 10 and oh which one we're we going to choose 64 no it's going to be one of these isn't it let's try 64 no let's go back i got a feeling it'll be one of these two Click yes, and then we'll follow it through. As that goes through, so that's good. And then what about the other one? Do we even need that one? We're going to do it anyway. Okay, that's good. So it's obviously that wasn't the 64 version, right? So that's that done. Now let's go to the RSBA1. Um, mm, so, set up XC, let's do that. Click yes. And then we'll follow it through. And this is the version 2 English. cup of tea it's about 7 30 a.m in the morning in the uk sunday morning everyone's in bed where i like it let's see how long this takes the idea once we've got this all set up we can we can have a go using it just as a normal hf radio using the software but also we can use it um for um, FT8, sorry, my brain's 
thinking about 10 things at the same time. Right, we got to next, so we'll hit next. Accept, next. Right, type your name below. You must also use the name of the company you work for. So I'm just gonna put in my call sign on both, I think. Actually, I better use a, a different name. I don't want everyone to see my stuff, do I? So we'll just pause. Right, so that's going nice. So go next. It's installing. It's accepted our numbers. Let's watch this happen. Click install. Well, I'm quite pleased about getting this because I've got the 705 and I've got the 7300. So I'm going to make really good use of this. And I can, it's going to be interesting to be able to go around the house with my laptop and further and still have this radio turned on at home connected to my G5RV and work it but I also just I spend a lot of time just sat at this table this kitchen table and it'd be nice to have the big laptop instead of because you sort of squint down don't you when you're using a, a small radio like the 705 so click finish so that's it it's all installed okay so once you've got the main software installed and you've got these you've got these two little icons that have appeared Icon Remote Utility and RSBA1 Remote Control. Then you just need to update it. So that's part of the file you get when you buy this. So just double click update, click yes. And it pretty much runs quite easily. Go next and then it will accept the terms and it will update everything. And at the end of it, it will say finished. So I'll leave it live so you know how long it takes. Got a little Nico here in the background. Don't know if you can hear that. There you are. Update complete. The installation wizard has updated RSBA1 version 2 to version 2.3. So that's the next stage.